This will be our second tutorial of how to install FreeBSD on the VMware Workstation. If you want to install it on hardware, the menu will look like the same as it does here when it's about the installation menu. So the difference in this tutorial compared to the first one is that we will take more in detail of slices, partitions and the boot manager and uh, yeah, to set up that menus that we were running by just pressing all A to make auto installation. While I start this ordinary virtual machine of FreeBSD, I'm going to speak a little bit about what a slice is, because if you come from Windows world or the Linux world, the slice is something new that you haven't heard about. On one hard disk drive, you can keep four slices. And a slice is actually, if you would see it outside from the Windows perspective, it's like one entire partition. But the difference is that in FreeBSD, this slice contains the FreeBSD partitions inside. You will understand it better when I show you. We begin to select our country to get the correct key map. This doesn't affect the installation language, it will be English the same. I select the key map, it's the Swedish one for me, so take the one that you need. Then I select standard installation, that's the same as before. And we continue forward here. Okay, here we have unused data. And we are going to make a slice here. I told you we can have four slices at one hard disk drive. So let's take an, to try to understand what this is then. The first two rows here, if you look here, here where it stands AD0, here is the hard disk drive. The AD indicates that this is an IDE or an SATA disk. Both of them have the name AD. If it would be SCSI, it would be DA instead. And the trailing zero there means that this is the first disk. Um, wait a bit, shouldn't the first disk be number one? Well, in programming, the first index begins with zero. So the first disk is always zero in this case. There is one exception I need to mention. I have a notebook I tried this on and it begins AD4 instead, but that's because the computer, my notebook, has a RAID controller built in. So it begins with C4 instead there. Okay, so let's continue forward. Under here, you can see the disk geometry. If you're a beginner, you don't need to change this geometric, so just keep it. Here is the total size of the disk that we have. This is a simple 20 gigabyte disk. Then we continue here. Here we can see the free space that is unused. Here is the options. The options we need to do here are very simple. We need to create a new slice. To make that, press C to create the slice. We can assign the amount of data to this slice. This one is mentioned in blocks. And uh, it's not so easy to, not so human readable as we say. We can do like this. If you want 10 gigabyte, you simply add 10 and follow it by a G. This will add 10 gigabyte. What happened here is that we have to enter the partition, what type of partition to create. And remember, here it says partition. Yes, it is a partition, but it's a slice in FreeBSD. Just remember that the first thing you do is to create one slice of the disk. So the default value 165, this will create a FreeBSD slice. In this case, we want to do it. So we select the default option. Now something happened. I move the cursor up. Here you see my first slice I made, that is 10 gigabyte. The size here ain't so easy to read, so let's change it. Z toggle size units. So to toggle the size units, you press Z. 
I pressed wrong key and there I pressed it. And there we have megabyte. You can see it was changing here. So you can press Z one more time to get gigabyte. So more information that is valuable here is that here is the slice name AD0S1. What you need to remember is that the S1 means the first slice. You, you see AD0, the AD0 here is the disk. So here you have the disk and then you have the slice 1. If we make another slice, it will be AD0 slice 2, AD0 S1. Let's create one on our unused space here by pressing C. I take the entire one and I take the default. And here you see we have AD0 slice 1, AD0 slice 2. You can keep four slices on one disk. If you make a standard installation of, let's say, a web server or any type of server, you want only one slice because you're not going to share any operating system and make it you will both like to have Windows 7 and FreeBSD on a server. So one slice is enough. I delete both of them by pressing D. Now I want to create one entire slice. So press the C button. You can take all the data just pressing return. But I, rem re I remind you here that if you want to enter megabyte, you just put an M, like uh, for example, like this. 10,000, like take, let's take one gigabyte example, 1024 M. This uh, is 1024 megabyte. If you want one gigabyte, it's one G, like this. But in this case, I want to keep all the, take all the data. So I just create the slice with the default value. And I, may, I take a free BSD slice, 165. When this is done, we have one slice that takes all the data. This slice, we will make the partitions inside. So to make, the, uh, to make this, uh, what we need to do more, that is something good to keep in mind, is to press the S key to make it both able. This will mark this partition to be both able. When you're done with this, just continue forward, forward by pressing the Q button. So then we are continued here the insta to install the boot manager. What you need to know about this is that the default option, the standard one, will make a master boot record. So it will write a master boot record on that disk and it's the only thing that you use when you want to have only FreeBSD installed on this system. So one operating system on one disk, you make the standard, the first option. If you have multiple operating systems, you should go with this one, Boot Manager. Or a special case here. If your FreeBSD is not installed on the first disk of your computer, like you have two disks and your FreeBSD is installed on the second one, you need to put boot manager on both disks. That's an exception. But we go with the standard. This is the one you need to remember if you only go to have one FreeBSD installed on this computer. So select this by pressing return.